What do you want to tell Joe Byron right now? Hey, Cincy fam. fam it's Eileen your independent Etsy consultant and happy new year I did not get to say happy new year in my last video because that video was filmed oh my god right after Christmas and we didn't get it up because the hubby fell sick then your hair got another head cold but this time it wasn't as bad as the first time no fever um, and no cough I actually had a voice but I sounded so nasally like um, I don't know if you guys remember from Monica from friends when she said I'm fine That's how I sounded just like that. I don't need a tissue. I'm fine When you put a D at the end of fine, you're not fine <laughs> And I still sound a little nasally, but my airwaves are open. I'm finally freaking warming again I didn't warm for like over five days. I'm working on the bring back my bar, but Today, we are going over what is retiring in this beautiful catalog, our fall and winter 2021. We are transitioning into spring and summer 2022. So we got 55 cents that are retiring. Girl, 50 freaking five. So grab a snack. We're gonna be here for a little bit because not only do we have scents going away, we have warmers going away. And I have the whole list of what is going away. And now is the time, especially with your wax. If there's something you love, these are not guaranteed. These 55, ooh girl, did, girl, I thought I dropped one. I was like, oh my God, one stack is missing. No, if you love any of these 55 cents, then you need to start a Sensi Club. What is Sensi Club? Sensi Club is a subscription service that you are totally in control of. You there's no startup fee, there's no cancellation fee. You pick the frequency you want, monthly, bi-monthly, or quarterly, and you put your scents in there. You actually can put all products in there, all consumable products. But the perk is, it's always get my bar. The perk is you can get bricks all year long, not just seasonal bricks. But these cents, 55 here, they're not guaranteed to come back. And we already had some not returning into the new catalog that's coming out spring, summer, 2022. That feels so weird saying that. I'm already heartbroken because yes, us consultants, we do have the access to the new catalog and we viewed it and there's some scents that that didn't make it that apps that were my favorite that I'm a little bummed out about but we'll get into that in another video this is all about discontinuing scents but Scentsy Club sorry see, girl get sidetracked already so Scentsy Club you pick your frequencies like I said monthly bi-monthly or quarterly and you can always get my bar and if you love these scents now's the time to do your Scentsy Club put these ones in there not only that but your bring back my bar. Yes, I got notes already because I'm warming these and these are only here for January. So not only to put these lovely scents that are retiring, but when bring back my bar is over, those are leaving too. And those only come back when you vote them. So Scentsy Club makes a lot of sense. This is the time to start Scentsy Club. You want to know more about Scentsy Club? Always comment down below. My handles are always in the descriptions. You guys can get a hold of me. But let's get in to what is retiring. And what is retiring? These are all 10% um, off and I did not write the prices down. So they're 10% off. So, um are awaken shade only for the premium diffuser the awaken shade um that is 10 percent off it's normally uh 60 dollars so that's 10 percent off that's leaving because we do have a new beautiful shade that's coming in return of it it's absolutely gorgeous i can't wait to share the new palette with you guys so the acute copper warmer that is 55 dollars on sale 10 percent off 
that is leaving us and that has been in this for quite a few catalogs it's absolutely uh, gorgeous it's like an acute shape kind of it's just beautiful it's like shattered glass and stuff I don't girl I personally don't own it but I've seen it and it's beautiful two warmers that are $50 10% off right now is the fabulous feathers warmer that was new I believe last catalog last spring and summer that's going away and our charitable warmer the hope blooms I believe that says uh, that's also leaving us um, the Dotson warmer the little wiener dog he's going away and the light from within warmer um, is also going away that was new last catalog too both of those are $45 but 10% off so minus your 10% off next are two $40 warmers 10% off that are leaving us it's grateful hearts it's a really beautiful little canister one I believe my niece has that one in her in her kitchen it's really cute if you like um, like that farmhouse aesthetic that's perfect and our starry night warmer with the moose and like starry nights with the stars and the moon absolutely beautiful 10% um, off those those were 40 bucks $35 warmer is the Jane warmer which I think Jane warmer has been like in there forever it's very old-school and classic looking not my taste but I mean $35 10% off I mean if you want cute little $30 it's the love warmer it's perfect for like a bedroom like a wedding gift stuff like that I've gifted it before um, that's a $30 warmer 10% off and our $20 mini warmers those are 10% off and we have a little quite a few um, the Aspen warmer with the beautiful like leaves it's like a metal kind of warmer really really nice uh, choose happy is going away uh, dancing dots my brother has this one he likes it in his bathroom the original etched core the original OG etch core mini warmer it's beautiful white uh, ceramic going away um, home is where my cat is and home is where my dog is warmer is also going away my daughter has um, my 16 year old she has the home is where my dog is warmer and she loves it. it's a good performer she uses it at night the wash to shore mini warmer also going away and I think that was new last catalog too so and then we have one wall fan diffuser the stacked uh, little design looks like a weaving uh, basket if I'm not mistaken I don't know I can't see on here but um, that is going away those are retiring from this uh, catalog so girl we got to get into two cents and this is kind of where Scentsy girl, I'm lost in my pages this is where Scentsy gets us yes and I say this is where Scentsy gets us this is where us wax addicts get all paranoid because we really don't know if these are coming back and like last um fall and winter of 2020 uh, Christmas cactus didn't come back this year and I love Christmas cactus I did not put it in my club my brother also loves it didn't put it in his club and girl we can't get Christmas cactus it has to be voted in to bring back my bar now because I don't think they're gonna uh, put it back especially now that icicles and evergreen is in the mix of things and people are loving that I don't think Christmas cactus is coming back but I mean that's what happens so we have to secure a lot in our clubs because if we really love them and we don't want them to go away so that's where I'm at with that well that's kind of where we all are at with that so number one that's going away which people are a little bit shocked about I don't even know oh my god if people are shocked about it I have been off the freaking grid um, I'm shocked about it oh my croissant Almond croissant has been around. This smells like a beautiful buttery croissant with a hint of almond. It's not like overbearing almond. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a bakery lover's dream. I love it. Oh, it smells so good. Could I live without it? Yes, I can. Can a lot of people live without it? When I see people talk about what they've been warming, almond croissant, I don't think people can. I think this is going to go in a lot of people's club. But it can come back next fall and winter. It just has been... Over, carried over in the catalog for like two or three catalogs now and we're saying goodbye to almond croissant 
Next up is a Scentsy favorite. It's apples and cinnamon sticks. And what sets this apart from other apples and cinnamon? This has like white pumpkin in it. And I do, it smooths because I, girl, don't like cinnamon. I don't like cinnamon, I don't like tree, I don't like burnt, and this is beautiful. It's not my favorite apples and cinnamon scent, apples and cinnamon scent, but it's very smooth. It's very nice. I have worn two bars or a bar of this. I don't know. Beautiful. But this one usually, this one usually returns. Oh my goodness. Apple butter frosting. This is another one, you guys, that it smells like apple cider mixed with vanilla bean buttercream. Um, it smells really good. This is really heavy cinnamon for me when I warm it. It doesn't smell like it on cold, but it's very, very heavy apples um, and cinnamon. Um, cider, like a heavy cinnamon. So um, this one, I'm a little shocked that's going away. This one usually carries over every catalog season, but it's, we're saying goodbye. We're also saying goodbye to apple cherry strudel. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, the only thing I don't like about this scent it's a one dayer. It smells beautiful. Um, it's very apple cherry strudel. You do get a really good pastry note from it. It lasts four hours. You maybe get a day out of it, depending on how many cubes you can put in your house. And then it's gone. Don't know where it goes. So it's, it's retiring. Next up is Arctic Kiss. Now Arctic Kiss was a big hit last um catalog no not last catalog um december 2020 that's when this came out this was a scent of the month made it back into this catalog uh the next winter over and i have this by the brick my customers love this i i get a lot of orders for our tickets and i'm a betting kind of person i'm a betting gal this will make it back it, it's so popular so so popular but it's beautiful. It's like melon with vanilla clouds and it's just, it's amazing. Next up is Around the Campfire. Now I see Melissa Johnson loves this. Girl, oh, that stinks. Now Melissa Johnson loves it. They mix it with all kinds of stuff. It still smells burnt. My 16 year old, she loves it too. She's like, oh mom, I'm gonna put around the campfire. I said, your room is too close to my room, so you ain't warming that. I won't even buy a bar of it. Mm -mm. Girl, I won't even keep it in stock for my customers. Nope. Around the campfire is like X out of my house. I cannot stand burn. Oh, I just can't do it. But I guarantee you a lot of people put this in their club because people do like it. I, it's not for me. Um, Autumn Hearth, this is like a traditional scentsy scent that comes back every year. It's like apples, pumpkins, cinnamon, always with some kind of wood note. Um, this is very, very strong. I will not warm this in my house. This is super, super strong, hot red cinnamon with some pumpkin, with some apples. It smells very fall, but heavy, heavy, heavy cinnamon. But that usually does come back too. There's a lot of these, I guess you could say, like, I'd be like, I'm not hurt if that doesn't come back. But the ones that don't come back are the ones that always hurt me. I'm like, oh my God. So next up, I will be devastated if this didn't come back. If this is going to my club. Autumn Road Trip. Autumn Road Trip is, again, along the same lines of all of the apples and pumpkins. But this is in the fruity category because, girl, it has au jus pear. It has silver oak and it does. It smells like fresh outside air with your apples, your pumpkins. It smells like, oh my God, a fresh fall day. Absolutely, absolutely love Autumn Road Trip. That will be going in my club. Next up is Autumn Sunset. So I've had a bar of Autumn Sunset sitting in my closet. Oh, I said I was gonna get to it. This stinks, you guys. Oh, I always say that. It just, it's so red hot cinnamon. I don't know why people, and people just love it. People, let me tell you what's in here. Cause there are some like this one, I don't know crap about it. Apples, pumpkins, fall leaves, and all spices. That's autumn sunset. I smell red hot cinnamon, a little bit of pumpkin, and red hot cinnamon. It, this, this isn't for me. 
I have a bar and I keep on saying I'm gonna warm it. Didn't warm it. I, I can't. With everything else I have to warm in my life and all the testing I do, I don't have time. So next up is Be Merry. I absolutely love Be Merry. This is this is where I found out. Yes, I love tree notes with berry. This has like some kind of holly tree, some kind of cranberry, whatever it is, but this smells good. This is this is a great Christmas scent. Going away. I think this one does come back, right? I think Be Merry, Be Merry comes back, yeah. New to the catalog is Berry Blessed. It was in last year 2020 um it was like in the holiday collection or something i love this i think this smells so so good it has like that sweet agave smell in here girl i don't even know um what what is in here let's i can't spend all the time on everything because i don't know where everything's at in this catalog um soft vanilla cranberry sprinkled with sugar and pure bliss i smell agave it smells really, really wonderful. When I warm it in my room, my husband absolutely hates it. He goes, I don't know what you're warming, but turn that off. And it's always uh, very blessed. Best in snow. Absolutely love, love best in snow. It's the freshest, like, spearmint that smells like snow. Like when I go to Big Bear up here. Oh, and it's so fresh. It's a good performer. Oh, this is club worthy for me. I love it. I had this last year in my club. It was a new release and it made it back to this catalog. So I was so glad to see um, Best in Snow. Really, really beautiful. Blue Sage and Tonka. This surprised me. Um, Cause I was like, ugh, I don't really like that. It is revel in the richness of Midnight Sage Black Lavender over sultry sweetness of, bean of Tonka Bean. I thought this smell, and it smells masculine. It smells very, very masculine. But when you're warming this, this transforms into like a creamy just like oh my god goodness and it's in the wood section and I freaking hate woods um and my son loved this too this is this is very very nice it it transforms into creaminess then it can be a little bit masculine but then it gets creamy it's really really beautiful I don't know if I want this in my club that, that's a maybe we'll see um oh, breakfast in bed breakfast in bed is going away it returned or was it a new release last year Oh, but this is like pumpkin pastries with raspberries, some kind of maple syrup. It's delicious. Boomer. This will blow you out the house if you put too many cubes. Absolutely um, love that. Bright Cider Life. Oh, girl, that's what it looks like right now. I was going to show you. I love Bright Cider Life. This was in our Harvest Collection last year in 2020. Made it over to the catalog. This was one of my Scentsy Heartbreaks. I didn't put it fast enough in my club. I don't know why I lagged. And then I, it was gone. And I was literally on the black market looking for all the bars. I had the husband looking for the bars and then it came back. So that's definitely going in my club. Butter Pecan. Now Butter Pecan usually carries over. Girl, this can't open. I don't know why it's not. Oh, what? It's delicious. It smells exactly like it is butter, pecan, sweet, super, super sweet. Um, bakery, bakery heaven. I love this. We actually had this in the body scrub last year in 2020 and I loved it. I just, I love butter, pecan. I mean, they're not all guaranteed to come back. You got to decide what's going to go in your club. Caramel apple craze was a scent of the month. I believe sometime in 2019 or 2020. I don't know. Oh my God. This is Johnny Appleseed just mixed with caramel. Oh my God, this, and this is a bloomer. This is a bloomer. I forgot, butter pecan's a bloomer too. That one's pretty strong. This one, you put too much, it's sickening sweet, but it's good, so, so good. Love caramel apple craze. Cashmere corduroy, new to the catalog. Beautiful. Oh my God, Um, I have it here. Wrap yourself up in coziness of creamy vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. Yes, this is also woods. And I loved it. This was the female version of um, Blue Sage and Tonka. These went hand in hand together. Absolutely love it. This is this could be club worthy. It was beautiful. I still don't know. Ooh, girl, I'm going to dig my nail into that. All right. Beautiful. I think that's, that's on the border for me for club worthy. Uh, cedar cider is going away and usually it comes back smells like cedar chest with some cider I think this is in the woods 
not my take. People love this. I do have a lot of customers that do order that and I absolutely love that. Next up, Christmas Cottage. Me and Christmas Cottage are not friends. I have worn several bars of this last year in 2020. Oh, it's so red hot cinnamon. Oh my God, girl. I should have been sniffing these while my nose was all freaking stuffed up. This probably would have freaking cured it. It's so red hot cinnamon. I don't smell the Valencia orange or the raspberries that are supposed to be in there. I just smell red hot cinnamon. The only way I got through three bars of that last year, I mix it with vanilla bean buttercream. I mix everything with vanilla bean buttercream. Next up. A lot of people's favorites, my customers love it, Cider Mill. I don't, I love Cider Mill, but it's only one and done for me. I don't know where it goes after like, not even a full day. Like it'll still be like, not nighttime, but like evening time. Oh my God, I can't even if you can drop those. Cause girl, if they all drop, then they're all out of order. Like I literally, but this is beautiful. Pumpkins, apples, Hint, 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 hint of cinnamon. Like tiny hint of cinnamon. Smells beautiful. Just goes nowhere. Um, to me, Bright Cider Life is definitely... Um... Girl, I said cinnamon burr earlier. What was that? Oh, I said Christmas Cottage. <laughs> no. I was like, cinnamon bear again? Cinnamon bear, pure cinnamon. I will not smell it. I should have smelled this too to open up my freaking nose holes for the last five days. Um, if you want to add cinnamon to anything, this is your go-to. This is pure red hot cinnamon. So if you want to add a little spice to anything, this this is the one for you. Too, too much cinnamon. I'm so sad this might go in my club too. Cinnamon buttercream. I started mixing stuff with cinnamon buttercream the little that I could. Oh my God. And you know what it is? It's that Mars Capone note. I do it. Let's see. Cinnamon buttercream. Italian buttercream, Mars Capone, and cinnamon cake. And that's where they get me. It's not like, like cinnamon, like cinnamon bear. This is cinnamon cake. And girl, any time you got cake, Besides tres leches cake, because I freaking hate tres leches, but cake, I'm there. I will show up to your party if you have cake. Oh, it smells so good. This, that's another contender. Absolutely great. It was a great performer, wonderful mixer, especially if you love mixing, that, that's for you. We got clove and cinnamon. I don't like this because it's, it does, it smells like you're cooking something. Yeah, it does. It smells like you're cooking something. And it's just not for me. But if you love clove, if you love cinnamon, this is a boomer. This is a boomer. So, well, and you know what? I didn't say that. Cinnamon Bear Christmas Cottages, yeah, they're they're boomers too. Oh, they are boomers and they last for days. So th that's one thing. Like, even though, like, I don't like it and you love those notes, you should go for it. Especially if they're boomers. Because whatever, like, toots my horn will float your boat. Like, you know what I mean? It's just two different kinds of people, whatever we like. That's what I love. Cozy Cardigan. Cozy Cardigan every year goes in to my club. Cozy Cardigan is layers of soft suede, blushing rose, and amber silk. If there's rose, I don't detect it. It's silk. It's it's like cash oh, it's just like cashmere. It's smooth, it's beautiful, it's in the fresh section. I don't think this is fresh. This goes every year into my club. I don't know if it's coming back, but it may come back. Who knows? Dancing Sugar Plums. This was new last year to the 2020 fall and winter catalog. It's beautiful. And I believe this is in the spice because it has like plums and like, what does this have? Spiced plums, vanilla, and cinnamon apple. And the cinnamon is done so beautifully in here. Um, this can come off a little grapey. Um, like after, I know on day three when I was warming this 2020, it was coming off a little grapey on day three, but day one and two, it was it was just sugar plums. And oh, this is this is a good one. My sister loves this one. This one goes in my sister's club like all the time. Eucalyptus wreath. I was really, really shocked with eucalyptus wreath. Um, I didn't think I was going um to like it at all. It's fresh eucalyptus is woven with juniper and frosted mint. So this smells strong. 
Ooh, girl, this smells strong in here. This smells like a little bit of Vicks, a little bit of your Vicks Vapor Rube. Um, and, oh, I don't really pronounce it like that. I make fun of my family that pronounces it like that. They say the Vapor Rube. Um, it's Vapor Rub, we know that. Um, but, oh, when I had this going in my bathroom and I warmed like two bars this season of it, it's light and beautiful, but not like light, like where you can't smell it. Like it's a good medium, but I thought, girl, this was going to smell like that Vicks and it smells beautiful. And I don't like juniper and I don't like tree. And this is like a really good balance of eucalyptus, a little bit of that juniper in the background. And it's beautifully like light to like getting on that medium side. And it scented up my bathrooms beautifully. Absolutely love it. Okay, we got a lot of pumpkins that we're gonna be coming up, right? No, girl, see, I don't even know what the F I'm talking about. All right, farm stand pumpkin. This might have to go in my club because it is fresh pumpkin with like a little bit of caramel. And I mix this all the time in alternating warmers with uh, Bright Cider Life. This is my combo. I absolutely love it. I believe it comes back every year and I believe farm stand pumpkin is in the spice section it's indulge in fresh apple cinnamon stick pumpkin and caramel absolutely gorgeous great performer great performer so that might be going in my club first day of fall i believe first day of fall always comes back too and i believe first day of fall is also in the spice section which i don't like spice but these are done so beautifully it is all the parts of fall are here just pet just picked pumpkin um, autumn woods ground nutmeg and a dash of cinnamon and that's what I like because it's like that dash of cinnamon right we're not like freaking heavy on the cinnamon we're just like sprinkle like the salt guy you know like that salt guy I forgot what he does but the salted pig or something oh this is beautiful this is beautiful that's a contender I don't know if I could I love doing first day of fall in fall it's not heavy in the air and I absolutely love it <sighs> graham cracker crunch Okay, so many has got to go in my club. I have so many bring back my bars, girl. I'm gonna sweat over it. I'm gonna get anxiety because there's only so much that can fit in my club before the husband's like, what are you doing with your life? You're spending so much on Scentsy a month, but then you're not using them because then you have all these new bars coming in and you have to warm this and that. It's a vicious cycle, you guys. But Graham Cracker Crunch, I didn't even tell you what this was. Graham Cracker Crunch is new to the catalog this season. It is caramelized graham cracker, crunchy peanut butter, and vanilla bean. And I did, was thinking this was not going to be my favorite because of the peanut butter. This is an excellent mixer. You don't get the peanut butter on warm. You get the peanut butter on cold. But when you're warming this, there is no peanut butter. This is straight up graham cracker. And whatever you put with it is absolutely delicious. This makes pumpkin cookies when I put pumpkin with it. It's just, it's, it's amazing. That might have to go in my club. Harvest Blessings. I was all about the Harvest Blessings when this first came out and I warmed it and it's beautiful. It's beautiful, but it is, oh, this is a little bit more heavy on the cinnamon. It's just your average. What is Harvest Blessings? Radiant apple, spice, pumpkin, smooth oak, embody everything you love about autumn. Yes, but so does first day of fall. So does, well, not autumn road trip because autumn road trip is much more fruity cider mill like because it doesn't have um that, like well it's kind of more heavy cinnamon i don't know but it's the same thing as that like first day of fall i think i don't know i think i like first day of fall a little bit better than harvest blessings but this is beautiful this was in my living room but this just has a little more hint of cinnamon and i think that's why i like first day of fall better is because because of the cinnamon stupid cinnamon so Harvest Blessings. It was a good one. Boomer loved it. Homestead Holiday is my jam, you guys. It's blood orange and fur needle. And uh, I just love it. This smells like Christmas. I warm this every freaking Christmas. I warm it once it starts getting cold. I mix this with Welcome Home and alternating warmers. And my house is comforting and inviting. And everyone's like, we love your home. Yes, because it smells good. And Homestead Holiday does that. Oh, I might have to put this as a maybe. Okay, Homestead Holiday, and it performs for days. Love it. Girl, hug in a mug. So I don't like chocolate scents. I love hug in a mug. 
and I love it. My son loves it. He loves it in his room. He's like, Mom, can I have Hug in a Mug? I was just talking to him because right now I have Shimmer in his room. And I said, do you want Shimmer all the time? Is like Shimmer like club worthy? And he said, well, not no more than Hug in a Mug. Literally, that's what he said. He loves Shimmer. He goes, but Hug in a Mug's first. And it's Hug in a Mug. It's cake. It's ocean with that kid. And I love Hug in a Mug. It's not too chocolatey. It's like hot cocoa, but you get that cookie dough. You get, girl, what is in Hug in a Mug? Hug in a Mug is chocolate, hazelnut, and cookie dough. And it's sweet and it's not overbearing hot cocoa. And this did go on my club last year for the boy because he asked for it. And we all love it. Next up is Iced Pine. And Iced Pine is... Fur pine kissed with peppermint. And this is too, ooh, girl, that's too pine. That, that's real strong. And so I did warm this last year to try it out. Girl, the, you want something strong and your tree, that's, that's this. If you love pine, you will definitely love that. Next up is Jewel Pomegranate. This was a scent of the month, November of 2020. Beautiful. I love Jewel Pomegranate. It came out in this catalog um, in the body care absolutely beautiful it really really is I believe that's in our fruity section um right is it in our fruity section jeweled pomegranate shimmery pomegranate sugar mandarin and a little bit of cinnamon this one says twinkle so I don't know what the difference between the dash and a twinkle I don't know I don't really smell cinnamon I love jeweled pomegranate I hope it returns it's really really good we got maple apple bourbon. So I did, oh my God, I did purchase maple apple bourbon. I had the husband smell the bar, so I'm going to put this in the kitchen. And he said, oh no, you're not. He doesn't like it. I love the way it smells on cold. I have not been able to burn this, but warm this, whatever. Girl, I always say burn, okay? But I love it and I haven't been able to warm it. Not at all. It smells like it's going to be an amazing performer, but I don't know. If you guys have warmed it, let me know. Let me know if I'm missing out. Perfect Peppermint. Yes, I have done that. I did not like Perfect Peppermint last year. I put it in my, my bathrooms this year. Yeah, it's just pure peppermint. It's it's a really good performer. It lasts three days in the bathroom, pretty strong, but it's pure peppermint. If it doesn't come back, I won't be hurt, but it's really, really nice. The, the hubby really likes it. Perfectly Pomegranate. Now this is available in a brick in our Scentsy Club. It's been avail available for, for a brick for a long time. It's been in every single returning catalog and it's retiring because I think they've got good stuff coming for uh, the next catalog. I like it. It gets a little too bitter at times when it's by itself. When you warm this with lemonade, like squeeze the day, your lemon sorbet, you could put this with, I put it mixed with Kahiko Hula. And that's the only way I could get through perfectly uh, pomegranate. But I mean, it, it's supposedly a bestseller and now it's going away. I wouldn't be hurt if it didn't come back, but I know a lot of people would. Polar Bear Hug, formerly known as Eskimo Kiss. This is like your blackberry jam and girl, what else is there in here? We got blackberry jam, sugar, vanilla, and amber. I did not like this uh, last year in 2020 and this year I've warmed a few bars of it and I do love it. Polar Bear Hug, my oldest loves this one. The 16 year old likes it too. This is this is a good one. We all thought it wasn't gonna come back because we thought Arctic Kiss might replace it. Then we got Arctic Kiss this, se this season and we got Polar Bear Hugs. What a good treat. Pomegranate Prosecco. So I have warmed it. This is really, really lovely. Yes, and it has that little effervescent note in there. And my daughter, my oldest was warming this in her room and literally I walked in and I was like, oh my God, what are you warming? And I said, wait, let me guess. Cause we always play um, guess that scent. That's the game that I made up, guess that scent. And I said, it's Moana. She said, no mom, it's not Moana. I said, wait, wait. Then I kept on smelling her warmer. And then I said, that's pomegranate Prosecco. And she said, yes, and this is amazing. This is beautiful. That might be a contender. Okay, so next up is all the pumpkins. Here we go. Because girl, I'm, I know I try not to do long videos, but we got pumpkin chai, pumpkin cinnamon swirl, and pumpkin roll. They are all different. They all don't smell the same. I love them. I love them all. 
pumpkin chai is amazing. Oh, it has that chai note if you love chai. Absolutely gorgeous boomer of a performer, pumpkin chai. I used to mix pumpkin marshmallow and cozy chai to get this, now I can get this. Pumpkin roll is pumpkin cake, you guys. It has yellow cakes, pecans. Oh, and this is not too much cinnamon. Love it because it's cake, because this is freaking cake. I love cake. And pumpkin cinnamon swirl. This is a little bit too much cinnamon for me. Just a little bit. Girl, yeah, it has that cinnamon. Girl, that unplugs my nose holes. Ugh. But for me, what I buy all day long is pumpkin chai and pumpkin roll and, oh girl, pumpkin roll. And this is on the back burner for me. If pumpkin cinnamon swirl didn't come back, I'd be okay. If these two would never come back, I would be upset. So those are gonna go in the new pile. But all three scents are boomers. No, two scents, chai and swirl are boomers. Pumpkin roll is medium, and but it lasts three days. So that's what I love about it. My new love is red berry and spruce. Now this was sense of the season in 2020, came into the catalog this year. I love it. It's again, because it's freaking berry. It's more berry than it is freaking woods. And I love it. And this is in the woods category. And I, I oh God, thought I was gonna cough. Okay, I love it. So, let's get some water. Red berry and spruce was in my house this season and I absolutely loved it. Salted caramel toffee, boomer. Sweet, gourmand, super, super sweet. If you love super sweet scents, I mix it with apple, I mix it with pumpkin, I mix it with graham cracker crunch to like taper off all that sweetness. This mix with graham cracker crunch, I'm just saying, graham cracker crunch with everything. But it's a good one. Oh, this one did. This one was a brick last year and then it came into the catalog. So, love it. Scarlet Sunflower is retiring. Oh, this is going to my club. I keep on saying it, me and my niece. So let me tell you, my niece, Homegirl's crazy. Homegirl, literally, we had a 10 bar special and literally got 10 bars of Scarlet Sunflower. That's how crazy Home Chick is. And I was like, you, you're you lying. And she's like, no, I ordered 10 bars. And I was like, every time I do a 10 bar special, every time I do any kind of special, she will order at least anywhere from five to 10 of Scarlet Sunflower. It's that good, it's beautiful. It's a great medium performer that doesn't stop going. It can last in your open concept for over four days. Really, really great. Silver Bells, pear, caramel, and light peppermint. And I did not like it last year and I love it this year. I have been warming this, I've been buying bars of it. Oh, I love it and it, it just, I kept on seeing everybody last year in 2020, they were like, we love this, blah, blah, blah. And everybody on YouTube and I'm like, I don't like that scent. And now here I do, I love it, I love it. I've been warming it in my room, especially in the bathroom because it has that mint. It's fresh, I, I love it. Snowberry, oh, I love snowberry. It's like strawberry, loganberry, little bit like of some kind of juniper or something. It's absolutely beautiful. Now this is a scent that I've never smelled anywhere else. This is really, really unique that Scentsy did. And I put it in my open concept. I mix it with other things and I love it. So snowberry may be a contender as well. Spiced Ember Glow that was new to this catalog. Everybody loved it but me. I think I sent I sent my last cubes to my friend Debbie because I was like, girl, you love all this um, smoke and you love the cinnamon. Girl, I had to send it to her. I couldn't even warm it. I couldn't even warm it in my home. I warmed two cubes and everybody was like, turn it off and I did. It was a powerhouse though. It's smoked apple, vanilla, and cinnamon embers. I don't like it. It's cinnamon, it's smoky. It's not for me, but I know a lot of people absolutely loved it. I know a lot of people did. I would not be surprised if that came back. Would not be surprised. Sugar cookie. Sugar cookie comes in a brick in your Scentsy Club. And sugar cookie has returned every single year. 
Why is Sugar Cookie going away? Because I'm telling you that we got good things coming this next catalog. I can do without Sugar Cookie. I love vanilla bean buttercream more. I order vanilla bean buttercream more. Um, sugar cookie doesn't last very, very long. It doesn't add enough bakery to when I'm when I'm mixing. And then I have warm sugar cookie on its own. It's just too light for me. But if you love light scents, then it's sugar cookie. It's not vanilla bean buttercream for you. Next up, I love this one, tinselberry. This is how I figured out. Oh my God, it's strawberry. It's beautiful and a little bit of cinnamon. Um, I love berry with tree because we had all these pine scents going around and I had to get through them. And I said, you know, I'm gonna mix that tinsel berry with icicles and evergreen and um, oh my God, black forest pine. And I was like, you know what, I have these. And I actually mixed this also with Christmas cactus, but I did it with in alternating warmings. And alternating warmers I did Christmas cactus and tinselberry and because I love that so much I was like well let me get through this icicles and evergreen this was a really good performer this this is just it's beautiful it's strawberry and it's cinnamon and it's it's beautiful vanilla mint I was so scared last year that vanilla mint was going away it went in my club this is so fresh this is so airy this is a banger of a performer. This goes out in my open concept. And this kind of mint is not toothpaste mint. Not like that bubble gum from Bring Back My Bar. Oh my God, that's awful. Um, fresh, snowy mint air. Like best in snow, but they're just very, very different. Love, love vanilla mint. If that didn't come back, that would heartbreak me. So very merry cranberry. We love very merry cranberry. Oh, just beautiful cranberry. And this also I mixed with um, icicles and evergreen and not black forest pine, just icicles and evergreen. I figured out how to get through black forest pine. So very, very beautiful. This one also does come back every year. It's a very strong cranberry scent. It is a good medium to high performer. Very snowy spruce. This is well loved. Well, well loved. Not by me but it is well loved. It is a bestseller. It comes back every year, but I know a lot of people like to secure it in their club. And I would, I really, really would. Ice pine and very snowy spruce. You better watch out because I think that icicles and evergreens coming back. I mean, if I'm going to bet some money, it's going to be icicles and evergreen, but I don't know which one it would replace. Probably ice pine. Cause I don't think ice pine's a bestseller. This one's a bestseller in the catalog. It's balsam, spruce, cedar branches, and pine cone. This is tree, this is tree, this is a boomer. If you love pine, I don't know, I don't know. Ice pine and very snowy spruce, you better watch. I'm telling you guys, I think that icicles and evergreen, it, it just did so, so well. And last up, which is everybody's favorite. Um, I cannot warm this in my house and I wish I could. It is winter apple berry tea. It is winter tea, cranberry, apple, and honey. And this is delicious. This is wonderful. I have this in body soak. Oh, but I cannot warm it. Um, when I warmed it in 2020, the husband came in the kitchen and literally started gagging. And he acts like me, like when I see people eat tres leches or horchata, it's like you get sick to your stomach and you're literally gagging. That's what he did with this, and he demanded that the warmers be turned off. And so I turned it off, and I can never warm this because it just made him so sick. I love it. When he's gone, I have still one one bar of this from last year, and when I know he's going to be gone all day or if he's gone uh, for a weekend um, playing his little games, um, I, I warm this. I warm this when he's absolutely not here. So this is a good one. This is two days, open concept worthy, beautiful. Winter apple berry tea. If, if I could put it in my club, I would, but I can't. This is a good one. Okay, that's it you guys. That is 55 cents and those warmers that we talked about. Let me tell you what, what is gonna go in my club for sure and what are contenders because I, because uh, girl, we can't have all the scents. I wish I could have all the scents. I wish I could say 
you know what? I don't have bills. I don't have kids. Um, but this is what needs to go in my club. And this is, I wish, I wish that was my life. I, I, I just wish. So bright side of life is going to go in my club. No, no questions asked. I threw a tiffy fit last year. It really was a bitch fit, but it, I'm going to call it a tiffy fit. It was a tiffy fit. Um, this has to go in my club. I love Scarlet Sunflowers so much. You can warm this in spring and summer. That's why this is going to go in my club. I think this might go in my monthly club. Mix this with Johnny Appleseed. You're, you're good as golden. Vanilla Mint. I need Vanilla Mint in my life and I need Best in Snow. These went in my club last year and they stayed there because I love them. I love them that much. Cozy Cardigan. I'm going to say I love Cozy Cardigan more than cashmere and corduroy. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Cozy Cardigan. Graham Cracker Crunch. This was my favorite mixer um, compared to Cinnamon Buttercream. This one still out... This one still outbeats it. See, I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. It's anxiety. It, it really is because then I say this, but then it's like, but this one was good with this. And then it's like... It's, it's a whole bunch of freaking first world problems, but graham cracker crunch, graham cracker crunch. We're going to go that autumn road trip. I would, my niece puts this in her club. If my niece puts this in her club, this will not go in my club. I will have this secure in another club. See, that's how I have to mentally do it. Right? Because then I'll have something in my club that my niece will be like, oh, well, I need that. I'll be like, well, then you need to give me a perfect looking pair. You need to give me your autumn road trip. So that's, what's going to go in there. Okay contenders these are all contenders okay because they might they might they might they might oh these are all hard polar bear hugs homestead holiday this is gonna come back that has to come back oh but i'll die if it doesn't come back i won't die oh my god i mean hug in a mug first day of fall these are all great all all great I love pomegranate prosecco. Secco. I might have to convince my oldest to make a club. Maybe she might put that in there. I don't know. Pumpkin roll because this is cake. Okay, cake. I, oh my God, pumpkin chai. I'm banging on stuff because that's how much I love these, you guys. Snowberry. Farm stand pumpkin. See, I think I can live without cashmere and corduroy. See, we're already eliminating one. And you know what? You guys might be like, oh, she's going to do that. Yeah, I cozy cardigans, my, my ride. She's my ride or die. So you know what? So I did this video about my like 12 like cents. Oh my God, I'm gonna get off topic real quick. And we didn't put it out because, well, we get busy. I don't have like a schedule. I wish I had a schedule. But let me tell you, Cozy Cardigan and um, Cashmere and Corduroy, girl, these, these girls are cousins. This is what I said about them. They're cousins, okay? She's fun, she's lighter because she's younger, right? She's a little more mature because she got bills to pay. Okay, that's how I describe these. And I go for the younger one. She just fits my personality a little bit more, even though I relate to this one because we've got bills. We got bills to pay, girl, okay? I get it. But I'm gonna go the more fun side. Okay. Blue Sage and Tonka. Oh my god, cinnamon buttercream. And that was it. So those are all contenders. That's what's gonna I have to figure out my club situation. These are all retiring January 31st at 11.59. At midnight, once it becomes February 1st, new catalog is out, new cents. Then you missed out your chance on these 55 cents that are going away. They are going away for the season for six months until the new catalog comes out. So you have been warned what is going to happen, okay? If you need help with a club, if you need to put sense in your club, if you need suggestions, that's what down below is for. Comment down below. Let's talk Sensi. Let's talk what is retiring. You guys want to talk about what's coming in? Also comment down below. I can let you know if it's coming back or not. Okay. And if you guys want to hang around more, always hit your subscribe, click your little bell notifications, and there's always another video here, 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 and here. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, Cincy fam.